All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 20 for today. And in the last episode, we had a bit of an early forfeit uh, with a comeback. So it's a pretty fun episode. We're currently sitting at Grand Champion 2 Division 2. So hopefully in this episode, we can rank up a little bit more. But of course, before we get into the games, we got to do the meme of the day. And this comment actually had two recommendations, but I've already done Sizzle before in a previous Road to SSL. But the other one, apparently Jack in the Box, is just perfect. Let's get right into it. All right, so simple enough. We got a Jack in the Box and we've got apparently Jack. So we got to combine these two as always. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but I always say that and somehow I accomplish something crazy. Okay, so we got Jack's head. I mean, this might just like sneak up right in the, the front of this little collar here. Let's try that. Let's grab the collar. Perfect. Grab that. Put it in front of Jack's head. We'll just clean up this edge a little bit. There we go. Let's clean up the bottom of Jack's head. I think I want a copy of Jack's head and I want to put it in the same spot and then just put this one on top of the thing here and just kind of let his chin go over top. I mean, that's terrifying. <laughs> um, Clean up this guy real quick. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mess with this guy. Well, that was a quick one. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Like I've said, drop a comment of your favorite pun and picture and maybe I'll do it in the next episode. All right, game number one, we got Chris and uh, Bands with Omen on my team. Here we go. He said no. So, oh no, I think he knows. I get the boost in mid. I can immediately turn on this because I have full boost and I see I have space on the jump. He's going to go up for this. So I'm just going to get a 50-50. That's hopefully favors us by keeping it close. He's trying to go for the pass. He went a little bit late though. So I just went for uh, the back corner there. Get my teammate to cut this in mid. Perfect. I was going to go back to them. So unfortunately it's not going to work out, but I can stay with this in the corner here. Hopefully get a 50. Chris going for the backboard. I don't need to quite go for this yet. This guy's trying to go for some sort of dribble or air dribble, but didn't have full control. Oh, good try. Also good try, but as you can see, he, he really overcommitted on that one. A right, good fake, but hopefully this boost spawns. It doesn't spawn, but I can get the back corner now. Good flick. So we have a teammate to save it. Ooh, unlucky. As I'm shooting into the post, but they tried to get in the... I thought they were a little bit closer. They tried to get a good position around the ball, but unfortunately didn't quite get the touch they needed. It was the right idea there. We got a three-man race <laughs> to the to the mid boost there. Bit of a lost possession by my teammate. And overcommit in the corner. Once they make make a a bad dribble like that, gotta stay uh, you know aware of that the fact that it's gonna be an overcommit. Oh, and there we go. So I saw my teammate pushing in front of me. So at that point, I don't really want to lift the ball too much because it, it makes it keeps the uh, the opponent on the ground. And uh, my my teammate didn't overthink it. They just went for the player. They, the opponent still got a good touch, but still like in a good position. So let them chase that into the corner, no problem. It's a situation where they're going to be overcommitting. Teammates up super early. They do get a touch, but once again, see how that just gives it right back to them. Like it's not going to really do much for us if they challenge that early. So I'm just trying to make sure I sit on our back end. We want to draw them in to have to like make a play uh, to stay close here. Get around the one player and then go for a shot. So the, the way that I can, uh, the way that I catch that ball and uh, drift around uh, the one flick here, I can tell that Chris is being pretty aggressive. So the second I can turn that in towards the midfield, away from the net even to the far side, uh, the better. Because that, that way I can actually, you know, create space for a quick shot off of target. Uh, towards the back end of the goal because uh, if you're going towards target you can't really you know cr like create too much power off of the ball if it's going directly on target already because you're just gonna be playing into this is going back to the like one of the first episodes of this season this guy gets like a decent i'm gonna leave this boost for him uh, this guy gets like a decent double but it's kind of awkward because he uses a lot of boost just to make us uh a single touch this could be them actually this could be open because of the fact that i expected that guy to touch that ball this ball's going to spill back in mid, so I'm just going to try and stay close. I don't quite get it. Good save, though. I'm going to try and pop this forward for my teammate. He ends up pre-jumping it, uh, which I, I mean, I respect. Okay, they boom it out. Now, this is quite open. I'm going to pop it up, though, see what happens. Good save from them. It's a tough shot, though. The way that that is popping up really high, it's not really going to give me many options to get a good, powerful shot. Let's see what my teammate does here. Good fake. I really would have liked the uh, the catch on the dribble there instead of uh, following up with the the slippery stitch uh, flick. Good save for my teammate. Okay, there we go. He's way on that boost, but I just got it, so he's probably not going to get it for a little bit. Ooh, I end up missing. That's tough. 
A little bit re I, I find this like, map a little bit hard to read uh, off of the corners. I don't know if you guys feel the same way too. It's a bit dim or dark on certain parts, but yeah, I expected my teammate to not uh, be able to help me there, so I really needed to get a touch because uh, he was way on that boost that was not going to spawn for another like, you know, millennial <laughs> or millennium. Might be bad here. Okay, no one's there. Panic a little bit. Let's go for a demo here. See what happens. Oh. Good control to the back. Let's see what he does. I don't mind the fake, but he definitely could have just beat him. I'm going to pop this to the back corner. I got to make sure I stall here. My teammate's still not going to be back for a while. He's going for the other corner. I'm just going to wait behind him because I don't really want to overcommit once again. This guy does. Ooh. All right. Good control. I like it. This guy's going to go. I kind of expected that, so I was just being a little bit careful to make sure I beat him. Nice try on the control. Oh, not the greatest shot. Definitely could have shot that on target. Let's see what this guy does. Decent block. Nice pop, but I can't quite be ready for that. So I'm just going to wait for it. This guy can leave this for me. Nice play. What I'm going to do is try and chip this off the corner in an awkward spot. That way I can go for the shot on target. And see if it goes in. Yeah, so that, in this situation, like, I don't really have much boost. So I want to just chip that uh, off the corner close. That way Chris can't really challenge. And then I'm just going to go for a little chip towards net. I didn't really expect that to be a goal because I really thought Chris would have been back there for that. But I just tried to keep myself close to the ball. Get a good shot on target. And uh, make sure I'm not overcommitting. My teammate's like trying to go for the back corner too. Now, because he doesn't have boost, I'm just trying to try and... Oh, that's a really good flip reset. Uh, I was going to say try and stall for him, but... I think he really could have probably challenged a field after me getting the corner boost uh, right here on the floor. Ended up backing off. I can't really cover everything. And I wanted to jump a little bit earlier, but he was leaving me in a spot where I have to react to that final shot. It's um, it's tough because in those situations, like when we have space uh, to grab the boost. Um, oh, this is a little awkward. My teammate is trying to go for this. Yeah, should be space for me here. Big flick. Make him panic a little bit. Chris is going to have that, no problem. Oh, he actually gets to that. Hopefully, my teammate can get back for that. I didn't expect him to get the touch, the read. It was really well done. Good. Nice finish. Well played. Chris says, wow, 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 wow. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. He's got a good flip reset at the end here. I thought it was the other guy, but he, he got a really good finish off of the uh, the setup. I mean, like I said, he says peak. <laughs> this guy was going for flipper sets all game. I don't think that was peak. I mean, he says in your dreams too. I mean, that's a good comeback. I like that. Really well done. I don't know who he's talking to. He's talking to the wind. The other guy's gone already. Like I've said before, we're really getting up to the uh, upper echelon of, of uh, Rocket League here, obviously. And especially with the earlier point in the season, we're getting players who are probably still like, I would say like 50 to... 80, 100, like 100 points, like lower than where they're supposed to be. Oh, that's a big miss. You have to excuse me. It is quite late. <laughs> I'm trying my best. That's both players. The second I see both players, I'm just going to try and ship this in. Good try on the bump. Oh, good try. I'm going to be in a uh, 1v1 or 1v2 for a second here. They're making little passes, but it's not a big deal. And they're, they're really trying to make something happen here, but. Got space to keep that close. I go for the back corner boost. Oh, good try on the setup. So I don't really mind this because he's going to waste so much boost just to get a flip reset. I think my teammate went up for this as well. So it's a little tough, but got a good read. I'm trying to push this forward for my teammate. Let's see this guy misses maybe. I get a double. Trying to force a 50 50. They're being really aggressive. Trying to bump this guy too. Oh, good save. They're going to get this, so I can't really turn on it because they're just going to boom it. And there's no one there now. We don't have to go for this. See, this is really awkward because, I mean, he got a decent catch, and that's not a good touch because I'm going to be low here. Like, the ball, like, once once you see both players are in a position where you um, they're not able to follow up that backboard uh, touch, you need to make sure that you don't just, like, panic and throw the ball away because in this situation, like, you could just let the ball bounce off the backboard and set up a faster counterattack. Because that's like 
that's gonna be like a big thing is uh creating creating space out of uh thin air because people don't expect it to be down the field so fast after they make a, a an attack not only have they wasted boosts but they've also wasted their positioning it's a good shot say i might get a 50 but it's gonna pop across the net here okay it goes for a clear should be all right decent block i don't think my teammate has any boost so he's probably pretty low he gets a decent try on that i'll watch out for the bumps here just in case he goes for a demo or something once again i'm not trying to do anything too crazy at this rank i'm just trying to uh you know be a reliable teammate for all my my players that i run into and uh finish those open nets like i said so there we go i mean we're long past the uh we're long past the time where i was not trying to score because players are going to punish more often than not at this rank so just trying to make sure i fill the role where necessary 2v2 is always a wild ride as you guys know decent 50. i'm gonna try and do is pop this back um don't quite get the touch but i can back off behind my teammate this ball spills in the mid but the guy actually rushes the touch same with my teammate he could have caught that and dribbled i mean that's a good shot really well done I mean, it's it's definitely a situation where like he could set up uh, some space, and Jay Jay Luby definitely could have probably just went for that ball, uh, because that's his best option at that point when the ball's like close to the net. Uh, but you know he did he backed off instead. My teammate's gonna grab this back corner. So once again, I'm I'm not gonna go for the back corner right away. I'm gonna make sure I watch for what the play is. Try and fake this guy a little bit. Let him take the ball. And there we go. So a big thing uh, on these plays when there's someone panicking as last man, driving away from the ball a little bit like that is going to cause like some open space uh, for you and your teammate to take advantage of because they're really going to be panicking at the last second there. This could be an immediate shot here, so I'll be a little bit careful. Good demo. Now see, like I'm not too worried about that guy coming in and challenging that because uh, once again, it's a situation where I'm already covering the net. Uh, and even if they go for it, I'm just going to get 50. That's in a good spot. And then it booms in a good spot for me. Now this, once again, they're both flipping back. So I know that I have space for this. I'll make it awkward for them. They get a good, decent touch off the backboard, but still a good chance. Try and bump this guy. So my teammate should have a free 1v1. Good try. Now they have a free setup for some sort of air drill play. Ends up messing it up, but it's still not, not very close to the ball yet. Oh. Oh. All right. I like it. I like it. Spicy. Good save. Now this guy's low, so he's gonna try and lead it back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and force it so he can't get the boost. Now he did he did recover it fast enough. I probably could have shot that a little bit faster to make sure that he's uh punished for going for that back corner boost. I have space for this. Boom around him. Fake this so he goes for the touch. Woo! That's tough. I feel like my teammate probably could have uh, pushed up and challenged there. He was uh, probably like hard. He was like hard stuck on the uh, the the net line there. Once again, being uh, pushed up on uh, like an attack. Oh gosh, something stuck in my throat. One sec. Ugh. Being pushed up on an attack uh, that they have is always gonna work better if you're stuck on their side. Uh, stuck uh, in defense. Just going for a closer attack is always gonna be better. All right. That's Interesting play. It actually works out really well for them. Nice. Assuming my teammate to finish this. It's going to be open. And there we go. But as I was trying to say, being stuck on the net there is not going to work because they have like free reign on the shot uh, towards target. So it's always better to creep up and try to make some sort of challenge if you're going to be stuck with like low boost. Um, obviously, it's like scary because people might make bad shots and, and panic. But the better the players are, the less they're going to do that. And uh, I think that like being... You know sideways in the net is never going to be a great option it's just like keeping your momentum we've had this guy in our in our games every match actually try no tries and he's been in some high level 3v3 games lately so it's an interesting lobby we're sitting at here oh it was almost in their net that's fine i don't mind that at all because my teammate has lots of space i can go for the other side here Go for a chip. Good save. I had a good chance there to go for a chip shot. My teammate's going for an early dunk. Go for a cross the net here. It's going to bounce back into mid. 
I'm gonna do is give myself some space on the one touch. Go for a boom. It's gonna force him to have to clear it awkwardly. See my teammates like maybe coming in for this. Take a good touch. Nice bump. Get on space once again. Big flick off the backboard. Give me that one to clear, it's no problem. My teammate wants to loop out maybe. I got some space in the corner. I save. That's totally fine. Like they can waste they can waste all this boost. He tries and pop it across. Hopefully my teammate's ready for that one. Might not be, but it's all good. Maybe a pass across. A boom is also fine. I'm just gonna pop it towards target, see what they do. Make them panic, get their all their boosts. They're not gonna be able to do anything here, so my teammate should be able to take control. Not the greatest touch. I should hopefully feed back to my teammate who's uh, leading into the back corner there. The boost actually doesn't spawn uh, for him, but we be alright. A little careful here. Oh, a little awkward, no problem. Good boost still for my teammate. My teammate should have this for free. We're going for the solo play. Totally fine. Well, that ball bounced actually a little bit more awkwardly than I expected. There we go. My teammate's in net, so I'm just going to go for this touch. Good 50-50 from Trizen. Just going to pop it over. I got a low boost here, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. There we go. I did get that corner boost in the back. I'm trying to do there is trying to pop it into a spot where uh, it goes off the sidewall. I'm going to make this guy panic as well. Go for a pop across. Be Ryan panicking, trying to stay close to this. It's a decent play. I really would have preferred the boost steal because now one of them has full boost. And getting the ball across like that isn't going to be you know, that, advanta at that advantageous. Hopefully get a decent beat. Could be open. What a save off the post. Wasn't sure if my teammate was going to take that or not. Decent touch from them, but should still be my teammate once again. We have decent pressure here. Not the greatest. And also not the great touch either. Go for a, a heavy 50 there by going like flat on the car. Decent. I'm trying to set up my teammate with a little pop there. A nice finish. So yeah, I don't really need to make that setup myself because I've got 50 boost. My teammate just got the back corner. So I know that they have probably a little bit more boost than me. So I'm just like selflessly pop that ball for them. I'm not going to be able to get this shot on target because it's, uh, once again, uh, in a situation where... Oh, nice shot. Uh, once again, a situation where like I... Um, I can't remember what I was trying to say. It's popping up 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 uh, up the ramp of the wall there, so I know that I can't get a shot on target in time. So I'm just gonna go for the boost steal, and then set up a, a play at the back end. It's gonna be another touch here. Stay close to this. At least we have the touch over. I'm gonna be dead, obviously. Either way, I spawn. There's gonna be no boost back here, so I'm just gonna grab a, a pad or two, and see if I can like maybe force them into an early touch, which is exactly what happens. My teammates not gonna have much boost, so they just hit that back corner. But hopefully, they make it back for that. They do. And what I'm going to try and do is force them to make an awkward clear. Which I do, once again, just by pushing up. They have to go for it early. Take the boost. I'm not doing anything too crazy. Just trying to force them into a, a spot where they're making bad touches. Once again, that's a bad touch because it goes right to me. Even if he wants to panic on this and, and go for the play, there's nothing he can really do with that because he already let go of the possession. I'm going to pull this in mid here. Oh. Okay. You go ahead. It's all good. You go ahead. You got it. <laughs> I set that up all myself, and I was hoping to stay with that. It's no problem, though. That's a good save. I'm on the right, just in case he wants to pop it across, maybe. He's going to stay close to this. You got a flip reset. I'm going to fake this. Try to be a nuisance. Stay close. To do this. Oh, that's a really good fake. So I'm going to back off now after that happens. He's going for an early touch. There's nobody in mid for him. So I already know that I can just stay close, not do anything too overcommitted. I missed the boost there. Don't, we don't talk about that. We're going to chip it off the wall, which is no problem. Let's go for an early challenge. We got no time left. So that'll be the end of the game here. Really well played, honestly. This guy is like pretty decent on my team. He was in the in all three games. And uh, 
Made the first game a little t tough. I almost got the touch there to try and pop that middle, but... Yeah, decent set of games. I mean, that was definitely, like, the most sweaty game so far. And uh, it's looking looking good so far, like I said. 1662. I'm pretty sure it's Division 3 at least. Let's see. Maybe. Where's the Division? Oh, no, we're, we already are Division 3. Okay, so we got it in, the, like, one of the last two games. I'm not really sure which one. But hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely a little bit more informative than... Eh. Definitely a little bit more informative than usual. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, I'm trying to keep my eyes open for opportunities to talk about my decision making, obviously, and just overall good habits. Obviously, 2v2 is different than 3v3. We'll be doing the 3v3 series after this one's completed. Uh, SSL is still very hard to get to. I'm currently sit sitting at 1900 right now, which is just uh, over SSL. And uh, so my, even my main account is like just, just at the cusp of SSL. So... Getting this account to SSL will be quite the trek, but I'm definitely down to do it. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the commentary, like I said, as always. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.